What's up, guys? This is Jeff, back with another episode of Online Cubase Tutorials. In the last episode, uh, I created a four-bar intro, and then it extends into an eight-bar intro. The hat comes in first, and then the, the kick, uh, just to get uh, kind of a feel for how this thing might work. And I was playing it back, and I realized that I don't really like this bass line too much. It's kind of cheesy. Um, it's okay, but I think uh, going back to the raw fundamentals of trance um, would be better. And so I'm going to I'm gonna delete all these and then shift click this one and delete all this stuff and just go back to um, this, this initial one bar phrase. I'm going to scroll over, get the setup how I want, click back to the MIDI channel for the retrolog, and we can keep this out here. Um, as another idea for right now, you can you know move it over here, out of sight, out of mind for right now, and then um, just just work on getting some more bass lines put in here and get something better. Um, and let's say you're you're not a piano player, so what you can do is just double click, and if with this loop turned on, you can turn it on and off here or here. Um, with this looper on and this set to one bar from bar nine to bar ten. Um, there's some other tools down here. You can go to bar where it starts, go to where it ends. So you click on those. And this is showing you um, the punch in and punch out. That's really useful if you're recording live, but uh, we can get into that in a future one. So let's say you're not a piano player. You might um, benefit from this part. I'm just going to start with something super simple again and um, just tweak the pattern a little bit to get it to sound like it wasn't you know, made by computer put a little bit more human human feel in there and I like um again this is a really basic sound but for right now that's how a lot of uh, early techno just started with something really simple so let's play um, in the key of uh, E there's an, there's an E right there um, and we'll just get this looping and we'll just fiddle around with the pattern and still until it starts sounding cool. Now you can uh, use the selection tool to make this longer or shorter. You can see it's, it's really um, just a matter of preference. And usually um, a lot of trance songs, uh, especially, will just have like one note repeating in a certain pattern. That's really what makes the trance pattern. So there's an example of a, of a pretty common trance pattern. Another thing that I find um, in a lot of trance is a pattern that goes like this. Um, so this is a common thing that uh, you hear a lot is a swell. And by swell, what I mean is um, the sound gets bigger in, in count two, three, and four um, of a, of a uh, 16 note situation All right and in the same way you can click and drag and option drag parts around you can do the same thing here so I can take that pattern and click and drag and hold the option key and it's going to copy it and then I can grab this and copy that now it's asking if I want to large the part I'm just going to say move anyway basically it asks that because this note is a little too long 
Okay, now let's see what I did there by mistake, but I'll talk about it. So if I select all these notes and I turn off snap especially, you can change the length all at once. This is equivalent to I'm building an arpeggiator basically by hand. So if you hear that, that's a really common trance swell type of uh, type of pattern. And then another thing cool about this editor here is if you check this out, if you hover over this, you get some different tools. And every every dot does something different. So check this out. With these three notes selected, I'm gonna mix this down so it starts almost with nothing. Alright, that's actually a little bit better. Alright, so I'm gonna copy this guy over. And I wanna um turn back turn snap back on to do that. Alright, so I'm copying that and I'm copying that again. So that's a pretty cool uh, trance type of jam right there. And I think I'm gonna actually make these notes zoom in by drag and click and drag and, and pull down and you can see there's there's so much detail here um, and you can turn like the way it snaps like that is when it goes out of the frame I'm um, holding shift key and you can move this back and forth but it kind of just jumps a little bit so you can also drag right here and that kind of jumps a little bit anyways that's what it's doing you can turn follow auto scroll on and off so if it's following the mouse or not sorry I keep leaning over away from the mic kind of a there's kind of a strange tone that I'm hearing in that kick drum so let's um, save where we're at I'm gonna go into this groove agent part where that kick is there's two ways we can tweak that kick drum sound if I can go into the instrument you can do it here right so we can kind of that that medium tone is what I'm hearing um, I'm not sure if we want to, we can, we can maybe filter it down a little bit. Hmm. Not really hearing that. Any change there. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is because we have this broken up onto its own audio channel for this, for this kick drum, I'm going to go to the kick and I can go edit and I can edit the EQ of the actual uh, sound of the kick. That's way better. I'm just making like a notch filter on the EQ where that annoying sound was. And we can solo it. Uh, where do you do that? I forgot. Oh, yeah, right here. Hear the difference? And you can notch it up right here. So you have a lot of creative flexibility with the EQ for the channel when you have that kick drum split onto its own audio output. And that sounds a little flat right now, to be honest. But we can pick a different sound later if we want, but I'm going to turn that up. Alright, so back to where we were. We're working on this bass line. And another thing you can do, you can take all these notes and you can move them around with the uh, arrow keys. So if you want it to be in the key of D, let's say. And you can hear it as it changes in it. And it's kind of cool just to be creative like that. And it gives you some ideas of how you might arrange the song. Alright, so we've got that. And another thing uh, that we could do is to make that sound a little better, let's go into the Retrolog and see about um, the effects built into the, the sound itself. It's, it's a, you know super basic right now, obviously. Um, we could try different different sounds <coughs> within excuse me within Retrolog. Uh, that sounds a little bit high, so you can edit the sound the oscillator itself. It's you know the 
force tune in here. There's an octave right here. Alright, so you can play around with each VST. you know my history but um dj solfeggio i usually do not work in 440 hertz i usually tune down um, either up to 432 or down to 432 or up to 444 i usually t uh, set it at 444 uh, we can get into the reasons why later but uh that's kind of a cool bass sound i wonder what that would sound like an octave down as easily you just change the note uh, but here's the fx for it it already has a delay and a reverb on here but you can hear if we turn up the reverb a little bit i usually like to change the delay time to um as a dotted quarter dotted quarter is a cool trancy sounds out of this thing and uh, I kind of like that maybe has a little bit too much delay on it let's turn that back down kind of becomes muddy all right then we can go in the mixer see where we're at and the other thing is remember this uh, we wanted to route this to the base Whatever volume is coming out of the uh, sound itself, we can have another a, another channel down here to improve the bass. Usually, that's set uh, by default at zero. So let's let's make sure this is as loud as we want. Um, and so you got to start by making this sound as loud as um, you, you, can, you have to make the input basically um, loud on the inside of the instrument. Turning up the master volume there. That sounds pretty cool. I think I'm going to turn the delay all the way off a second and just see if that sounds better. I kind of like it. Um, 
Um, but now, now that I went an octave down, this note is a little too low, I think. So I'm gonna actually move this up to uh, maybe to this A. All right, that sounded pretty cool. So let's hear, let's hear it when. Um, <laughs> 